Okay, this is Bob Ma on the Facebook groups. If you're familiar with Bob, he makes a lot of custom stuff, heads, other items, really cool stuff, does really nice stuff. But he uh, made these dive belts, and uh, I bought a few off of him. They're pretty cool. I think they're made overseas. Um, a little bit pricey, but I don't mind helping people out by buying their gear if it's, uh, if it's custom. So I got a couple of these from him, and I was messing around one day, and I decided to look and see if there was uh, anybody that made with 6 cal dive weights similar to what these were. Shapeways actually had some, but they're super expensive for like something like 40 bucks for like 10 of them. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Then I got a Monkey Depot, which is an old 1-6 scale side I used to get on, and I found these for dirt cheap, so I bought a bunch of them. Went to Hobby Lobby, got some elastic, and then I got this parachute clip, and I made my own weight belts. Now, I don't really like the way the parachute clip looks on these. I think it looks clunky. So I'm going to redo these at some point because I love, you know, I love diving. I love scuba stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, it's nice to buy off of people. I have no problem with that. But sometimes it's also nice to make your own stuff. And this is an instance which I thought making my own would, you know, mean something to me, and it did. So, like I said, Monkey Depot has, I'm sure they still have these. And you can just get some standard quarter inch elastic, and then you can either use uh, existing belt clips, buy some from Cotswold or whatnot, and make your own dive belts. So, these are my custom dive belts I made. All right, if you go to Hobby Lobby or Michael's in the craft section, you can find a lot of these boxes. Old just wooden crate boxes for different, different things. I bought a few of these and primed and painted them and I thought they made good adventure team boxes for storing, you know, your rifles. That's what I use this for. I put a custom decal on it, sanded it to give it a weathered finish. This, I, did, I did these several years ago, so I'm, I don't think they look great. I might redo them at some point. Yeah, I just usually use these to store a lot of munitions, weapons in. This and here's another box that they had. Uh, a friend of mine from the Central Illinois G.I. Joe Collectors Club, Merlin Harris, gave this to me. And I put my G.I. Joe sandbags in it. But he painted this and... I think you put the ropes on the side. This, this is a cool, a cool box for my adventure team. I really appreciated the fact that he gave that to me one day. But yeah, if you go to any of the craft sections in these stores, you can find a lot of stuff that can become useful for your adventure team. So keep that in mind. So how many of you guys have uh, GI Joe snow patrol sets out there with no functional skis? Probably a lot of you. I know I do. So I decided to uh, make some ski poles. So I took some broken ski poles and took the handles off of them. And I looked at different things to mount them to. These two poles here, I used bamboo food skewers. Uh, I took an existing G.I. Joe ski pole, scaled it, cut these down mounted the handles to them, painted them white, and I took for the ends, I have uh, a bunch of the old knockoff skis that you can, uh, you can find a ton of these in a lot of your G.I. Joe watts on eBay. But I just took these Slid them over the end here, like so. Made my own ski poles. So therefore, I don't have to get on eBay and pay an arm and a leg for vintage ones, even though someday I might, just to complete a set. On these here, I took the, uh, if you saw my tent, G.I. Joe tent video, uh, you'll notice I used 
old utility flag metal poles, cut them down to ski scale. I just drilled small holes in the ends of these skis parts and uh, mounted those to this one. So I took a ski, let me find a decent one, so something like this, those old cheap poles, just cut it off here and here and just mount your uh, metal in between and you can make your own ski poles. I've been doing that for a while, they look good in pictures. They work for me, so something to keep in mind if you want to build some ski poles for your G.I. Joe um, snow patrol sets. Just get you some old knockoffs, kit bash them up. Here's a custom that's near and dear to my heart. This is my leap my light escape action pack this is a jet pack I made oh, probably about five or six years ago out of a G or a, a Fisher Price Rescue Heroes Roger Houston space pack I've got to do some upgrading to it at some point in time because I want to take these old rubber tubes off and put parachute cord in so it's a little more usable but I took this thing I didn't do much to it I painted it added some parts to it made a cool uh, a cool harness for it similar to that on the the GI Joe parachute pack used an old space uh, GI Joe space adventure part as the harness for this pack just screwed it in there, gave it a nice coat of orange paint, and uh, added a small Adventure Team logo. And this is cool. I'll throw some pictures on there of what this looks like on a guy. I haven't mounted this on any, any guy in a long time. But I plan on redoing it a little bit at some point. But this is uh, one of the co cooler things I've made a long time ago. You know, I had this pack lying around, and I just didn't know what to do with it. And it really looks cool on my G.I. Joe's, so... This is essentially a jetpack for my guys. It's the light escape action pack. Okay, if you watched my video on Quartermaster Customs, you'll know that I bought uh, some fabric off spoon flour and I had Kathy at Quartermaster, at Quartermaster Customs make some uh, clothing for me. Well, she always used to send me back um, there what was ever left of the fabric I sent her. So my mom, who's also a avid sewer, I took him, some fabric over to her and she sewed me up some clothes out of what I had left over. So I got these cool shorts that go with my scuba my scuba divers. Another set of cool shorts from the fabric from my deep sea diver outfit. I have two pair of those. I've got a pair of shorts left over from a jumpsuit she made me. Or I have a pair of shorts I made from the fabric from a jumpsuit. A lot of these are just basically used for scuba or other, other type of stuff. Shorts for my muscle body guys. My mom also made me some shirts. So these are kind of cool. She had an old, uh, I think an old Ken doll pattern from when my sister was little back in the 60s. So my mom still had the pattern, so she found some shirts. Made me a shirt, a jacket out of that fabric. I'll try to get some uh, pictures of these on some Joes so you can see what they look like. Then I had this old uh, German desert camo pattern, a pair of shorts for that. Didn't turn out very well when I had it printed off at Spoonflower. It's an odd pattern, but I got a cool weirdo shirt out of that. And then she also made me a full outfit. I'll probably get a picture of it. It's kind of almost like a snow outfit now. It's supposed to be German desert, but it looks like snow to me. 
But yeah, I'll take some pictures of these on some of my Joes so you can see what they look like. So anyway, those are some customs that I have. And uh, I just wanted to share those with you guys. There's a lot of stuff out there you can do if you just use your, your mind, have a little free time. So it's kind of what I do when I'm not busy with a little boy or working or doing wife stuff or having a few beers and a cigar. I just kind of use my imagination to think of other cool uh, Joe stuff to do. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Um, I always appreciate the comments. I have uh, three different Instagrams. If you want to follow me on there, jshear74. I have uh, skunk underscore works 74 and toys and brews. So I uh, look forward to hearing from you guys and I appreciate it. Cheers.